In this presentation, we will share with you our knowledge of a disease called galactosemia. Due to a family history for one of us, we wanted to learn more about this uncommon and rare disease for later reference. Galactosemia is often misinterpreted as lactose intolerant. It is similar, but is much more serious. Galactosemia is seen in about one of every 60,000 births worldwide. It is estimated that one of every 40 people will be a carrier of the defective gene. Galactosemia is a disease that is caused by the absence of an enzyme, enzyme commonly known as GALT. This enzyme helps the liver digest the lactose. Without the digestion of the lactose, the cells will continue to build up and eventually those cells then become abnormal chemicals which can become fatal. This is the cause of the symptoms seen in young infants. There are no immediate signs visible at birth. Some of the indicators that suggest galactosemia are jaundice, diarrhea, and vomiting soon after birth. Infants who have galactosemia cannot digest breast milk or formula and should immediately be switched to a soy-based formula. Galactosemia is most commonly diagnosed through a newborn screening test given to all newborn infants. However, if a state does not complete a newborn screening test, other tests such as prenatal exams and a urine test of the newborn may be used. If not treated immediately after birth, an array of complications can occur. Infants can develop liver disease, cataracts, and central nervous system damage. With these complications, mental retardation can occur. If left untreated, death can occur as early as one week old. The E. coli bacterial infection is very common in infants who have galactosemia. This picture is an example of how an infant is affected by an untreated or delayed treatment of galactosemia. Brain damage, cataracts, jaundice, enlarged liver, and a kidney damage are just a few complications. If galactosemia is effectively treated, there can still be some complications later in life. Children who have this disease often have speech delays, learning disabilities, and neurological complications. Women who have galactosemia may experience ovarian failure. Galactose is treated by the removal of lactose and galactose in everyday diets. There is not a drug or chemical that can be used to substitute for the missing GALT enzyme. For diagnosed infants, a soy-based formula is the only type of milk suitable for using. A few examples of foods that cannot be digested are butter, milk, buttermilk, cream, milk chocolate, cheese, dried cheese, whey, yogurt, organ meat, dry milk protein, margarine, soy sauce, and sour cream. Daniel is a young man that was diagnosed with galactosemia at birth. Daniel was born nine weeks premature by emergency C-section weighing only three pounds, four ounces. He could not breathe on his own for the first 18 hours of his life. His first newborn screening test did not show he was positive for galactosemia. Because of a blood transfusion he received at birth. They started to feed him breast milk and after two days his weight slipped to just two pounds, 15 ounces due to vomiting and diarrhea. Another newborn screening test was completed and he was found positive for galactosemia. At about a month old, Daniel's eyes were checked and due to infections in both eyes, his parents were told that he was blind. Thankfully, after four months, his vision slowly began to reappear. Through his early years, Daniel went to physical therapy and didn't walk until he was 14 months old. He also needed occupational therapy for his lack of motor skills. He was seen in speech since kindergarten. Through school, Daniel showed normal academic skills and learned average to above average grades. Daniel succeeded to be the leader in many organizations through school. He has learned to work around his dietary needs and lives a normal life to this day. Galactosemia is an uncommon disease that few know much about. With our help, we hope that you have learned more about this rare disease.